Virgo, this is all about you. It is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries, general energies, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Virgo falls in your natal chart. You can take these energies and apply it to that sector. Um, yeah, so let's get right into the reading, guys. Um, no, 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 there was something else I wanted to say. Yes, so Virgo. <sighs> You know, I always have a full oracle card spread. That's what we're gonna do right now. And then the extended link is below for the full tarot and the romance reading. But Virgo, <laughs> I just got back from working out. Like I'm working out, but like going to yoga class. And I'm tired and I'm sweaty and I'm hot. And I looked into the mirror when I got home and I'm like, this, this is Virgo right now. You just went through the ringer. You just got squeezed. You're just coming out of this phase of just feeling exhausted, but in a good way. It's like the sweat that you needed to sweat has got out of you. You were purging this feeling of loneliness, feeling of emptiness, feeling of worthlessness, concern, worry, maybe even paranoia. You've been through a lot. This week is wringing that out. It's squeezing that out. Yes. You look disheveled, you feel tired because you just went through the ringer. But you're cleaner, you're fresher on the inside. You're lighter somehow. You feel good about yourself for getting up and going to the gym. Even though it wore you out, you did the hard work and now you get to smile at yourself and be proud of yourself. I think you're finally coming into the, the idea that should have struck you about three weeks ago, which is that yes, all this good stuff that's coming into your life is meant to stay. You are being set up for happiness. And it's a question right now is what you have to ask yourself is, do I like happiness? Like, have I been attracting discord or drama purposely because it's a distraction from something that I didn't want to deal with? Or because I feel like for some weird reason it's, it's fun? Um, maybe it helped me, excuse me guys, gotta plug in my charger. Maybe because it helped, it helps me sort of stay away from me and I don't, I don't want to be alone, alone with my thoughts or my emotions, but now you are, and you have been, and those, those, that's, that's what got wrung out is what you're feeling. And, and the wonderful thing about coming out on the other side is this, essentially you're more comfortable with feeling those feelings and you understand that, yes, you are still you look, I'm still whole. Everybody still likes me. Nothing fell down or collapsed around me. This is actually something that I'm allowed to accept about myself. These vulnerabilities and these moments of imperfection because you're your own worst critic, right? So Virgo, let's get into the energies for this week. Uh, November 13th to the 20th of 2019 for the zodiac sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising sign, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising sign, Virgo. Okay, energy crowning your reading. It's right here. It's so weird. This came up in Leo reading too, and I mentioned you. So you could be very, very well starting something with a Leo. I will attach above. Look for that above. I will attach their um, their reading above. But Virgo, this is setting a solid, you're building something new. That's what it is. 100%, this is you're building something new. Now, it could be you that you're building new. It could be that fresh start. Remember, you got wrung out. <laughs> you exercised all of that waste, that stuff that was intoxicating you, that you were holding on to intentionally because you were ashamed of it, because it made you feel weak, because you would rather avoid it, because it was easier for you to avoid it, because you didn't, hey, stop it. You didn't want to look, you didn't want to see, you didn't want to own up to it or face it. The hurt has to set in this week to be purged. That's the essential. That's like, like go and do the workout, do that emotional workout to start like to clear that ground to lay the solid foundation you're building something new and anytime you build something new there is that essential precursory activity of 
purging or getting rid of what is there before. And in order to, and I think that that's what you've done. You're either finishing that off this week or you're just beginning it this week. Either way, you are going to be bright eyed and dewy eyed by the end of this week, ready to start breaking the foundation for your new life, your new self, your new sense of self, this feeling of I can move forward. This is a better version of me. This is a better version of my life. It's not that everything has totally changed, but it's cleansed out. The poison has been purged and now it can be what you've always wanted it to be, which is something that is lovely and something that you love and something that is stable. And you've almost realized this week that stability is, if there's not stability inside, there's not stability outside. If there's something that you're trying to deny or hide inside, then that's what you attract outside or your life is only basically half lived or half experienced because half of you is shut down and closed away from the world. So this is you building that solid foundation where all the details have really been taken care of because it's the details inside of you that you were trying to avoid that have actually been taken care of. And now that you've got that rot out, you can see that the cancer is completely cured and you can move forward in this wonderful sense of a stability that you didn't think was possible uh, because it's deeper. It's deep. It goes all the way down inside of you. This is your card. This is very Virgo energy because it's very nurturing. It's very motherly, but it's also, it's also a builder. It's also an earth sign. It's very grounded energy. It's grounded, but what, where do beavers build? On the water. So it's grounded in emotional certainty and security. Mm, I really love that energy for you. And Leo got this card too. I swear to God, I'm shuffling guys, but he, they didn't, okay. This is why the cards are so amazing to me. They got this as their crowning energy. This is them. This is their card. You got this as your crowning energy. This is you. This is your card. So the crowning energy is building something new on a solid emotional foundation. And then here you are, your full sense of self realized, recognized, look at you, courageously looking forward. There's this image doesn't look back, not at all. And it's not cocky. It's confident. It's happy. It's fulfilled. You're the king or queen of your kingdom because you've been through the ringer and you've wrung out all those toxins. It's almost like a sick person can't help, can't hope to live a healthy life. And, and this is like a sad sickness, a sad sickness that was a part of your life. And now it's not a part of your life anymore. Something that you had to purge, something that you had to own, something that you had to face. You have dealt with that. And this is you finally being able to accept that your life is actually beautiful. And I know that was difficult for you because the change was difficult for you. But I think you've also found your role in that change. In other words how you're actually driving the change, how the change is all about you and you're making the decisions and you love to make the, in other words, this has become your new favorite project, which you were once afraid of has now become your new favorite project. It's like, wow, I can affect everything from the ground up. I don't have to start on wonky territory that I inherited from somebody else. That's not, no, this is my fresh start, me breaking ground. I'm able to dig subterranean and make sure all of that is cleared out. The basement level is all good so I can lay a very solid cornerstone for where I'm going to build the rest of my life. You can be dealing with a Leo. That is a possibility. Be at home. Oh, like it, bam. It's just like, it. this is about your home. This is about your heart space. This is green, right? The color of the heart chakra. This is your heart cracking open and resonating vite, a bright and vibrant inside of you this week, letting people know that you are home. This is the feeling of happy. This is the feeling of acceptance of your new circumstances and your new situation, which is just goodness all around. And this is what also, this is the energy of a grandmother. This is grandmother spirit. Spiders are grandparents because they weave our DNA. They weave our, they weave our, our traditions. They, they sort of cast the spells into the future. It's just grandmother energy. Think of Charlotte and her relationship to Wilbur and writing, like being protective. So this is, this is you like almost 
it's almost like, yes, you're weaving your web. You're weaving your own spell this week. And it's got to do with the home. You're literally, what is what do spiders do? What do spiders do? What do, build, what do beavers do? This is all about building your home, building the place where you are going to live. This is all about building your future and building where you will feel safe on your own terms. So this isn't just casting. It's literally taking that beautiful, benevolent Taurus energy. But Taurus is a sign of material wealth. So you are literally absorbing all of that material abundance and wealth and transforming it into exactly what you want. Virgo, this is a lovely energy for you. And look at what's following it up. Look at what's following it up. Another one of your cards. This is you've been working hard. You've been saving hard. You you put you planted the seeds a long time ago. So, and I say this to Capricorn all the time, you planted the seeds a long time ago. So why are you so afraid of reaping the rewards now? It's almost like you forgot you deserved it. You planted these seeds long ago, Virgo, and now this is your harvest time. This is the seed, this is fall. This is a season of warmth and being at home and growing, or you're planting your seeds now for the future and you're enjoying it. You're not worried. What are they, what are they, what, is the, what if these seeds don't grow? Or, you know, what if I don't water them enough? You're not worried at all. You, you have a certainty because you've already seen, like, that's what the ringing out was. Oh, this is how the cycle goes. This is how I complete this cycle. This is how the cycle ends. All of those hardships, they come back around and they end up earning me something. They end up being worth it at the end. So you're not afraid now. You will boldly and bravely plant the seeds for your future, for your future home, wherever the home is, the heart, the heart space, the heart chakra. Be at home. Be at home happiness, stability, all those four feet firmly planted, a sense of being protective, guarded, a place where you feel safe, building from scratch. You love this. Now you can plan. You're not afraid of the resources. You're going to love this next card. You're not afraid of the resources in front of you anymore. It doesn't intimidate you. Now you see the full potential in them and exactly where to lay those. And you it's almost like you're taking joy in the fact that, whoa, I get to lay this foundation now. I'm the one that gets to be here before the roots are even planted. Yes, it's like you're the grandmother for your future grandchildren. You are laying down, laying down the foundation for generations to come. And you can affect those generations to come just like you have been affected from generations that came before you and maybe reaping the rewards and benefits from them and now planning and how to grow. This is all about family tree and abundance and a beautiful sense of oh, happiness about what you have ahead of you now. And then look, I told you you were going to love this card. Quick like a bunny, baby. All of this, as soon as you accept that into your life, as soon as you have, have, have earned, like, um, have allowed it to fill you up with joy, things are going to rush. Things are going to rush in. Abundance. Things are growing. Things are multiplying. Your abundance continues to grow and in a fast way. This is also my fertility card. So if any of you are planting the seed, bunny rabbits planting the seed there is some baby making energy here just an fyi all this week virgo you're going to be very very fertile male or female it doesn't matter so if you are looking to conceive me like a bunny baby and if you're not then that's okay too but just know this is a very fertile period and somebody is planting the seed for future generations, I'm just telling you, your home life, this is all about domesticity. Virgo, you could very well be finding out that you're pregnant or planning on getting pregnant or definitely being very, very fertile this week. Mm. I really love this energy for you because everything is taking off, but it's not taking off in, in cra crazy, lavish, luxurious ways that you don't really necessarily have any interest in. It's taking off in the places that you really love, which is your family. You're growing and you're growing emotionally. You're setting a foundation for them, a strong emotional 
excuse me, a strong emotional foundation for your offspring, for, you know, maybe this is already offspring that you already have for whatever whatever offspring is in your life or in your future you are setting a beautiful foundation but the wonderful part about it is the calm that you feel the happiness that you feel this is a sense of um yeah this is a sense of okay this is a Okay, just I'm sorry, forgive me. I want to focus on these cards because they came up uh, reverse. Um, these are the only set of re so basically, um, you it's see this crowning energy is a six, and in the original tarot deck, six is what is it? It's the lovers. <laughs> so this is maybe the fact that you have a solid love and a solid romance, or you finally found somebody to love that fills you up and makes you the best of yourself, and you're getting married, you're getting engaged. This is somebody you want to have children with. This is all beautiful stuff, but it's surrounding the hearth and home, and you are very much ruled by Demeter. You, Demeter is the goddess of the harvest. You are very much the goddess of the harvest. You are very much helping people. You, you know, your whole sense of just wanting to make everything as abundant as possible and be as productive as possible. Virgo, this energy is very much to do with the home. It says it right here, the home space. So it's not about these luxurious things or anything like that. It's about your family. It's about giving them a strong emotional foundation because now You've cleared out this space in your heart. You're, you're okay with you so they can be okay with them and you can raise a, a, a child that is happy and healthy and in an environment of acceptance. And I, and I, I want to say that that is definitely maybe your contribution. What the, the, in other words, the part of the spell that you wove and have cast is this new sense of acceptance of the self, you know, this new sense of, um, of loving who you are and being okay with what you feel and not making judgments. But here we have take a leap of faith and it's upside down. And that makes me feel like there's still, maybe there's still a little bit, like I said, it's going to take a week for you to actually be ready to get going. Or it could just mean that the grasshoppers already landed. You don't have to take a leap of faith. There's no need. You have everything that you want. In other words, faith, and what you want is already with you. And that's the energy I'm getting because I'm still getting very much um, luck coming off of this card. So it's great amount of fortune, but you don't have to move around or leap to get it. It's almost like it has leapt to you. It has come to you. And then I get this, time for a deep dive. And it's upside down. So yes, there is still a sense of maybe there was a loss. Maybe there. this was my Libra card. Maybe there was a loss. Maybe there was um, a disappointment. Maybe there was, um, there's a sense, maybe there could be with some of you a sense of heaviness in your heart. Or it's just this sense of having now to heal your heart chakra and go through all those places in you. Um, uh, swans, swans are friendship too. You remember the story of um, Cygnus the swan? Cygnus was a friend of Apollo's son who dove into the water to try to save him after Apollo's son stole his father's chariot, rode across the sky and um, got, got burned by the sun and fell into the water and was dying and his friend jumped in to try to save him so he could be with him. So this is a sense of maybe there is an upside down twisted, um, maybe, maybe there is something compromised in terms of oh, your heart, your, your, like one of your friendships or, or somebody took a deep dive and is helping you to heal. That is also a possibility too. So either way, there is this sense of this energy, this heart space still being cleansed in some way. So like I said, it could take you the rest of the week, but I feel like, in other words, this has been laid bare. You absolutely know what needs to be healed here. Or you're, this is the week where you're finally getting to the truth of it, admitting it, and purging it and letting it go because it really needs to be owned up, fessed up. Just what is it that you're really feeling that disappoints you and hurts you so much? And this is the week for the truth. You are surrounded by this beautiful, benevolent energy of support. Support in all the places that are most important to you, most especially the home, Virgo. 
So this is your safe space. You can let this happen. I'm gonna flip the camera around really quick. And remember, if you want to, um, if, if you're interested in the extended reading, that link is below, full tarot spread. Hold on. And there you go. See, this is the crowning energy, building your foundation. But like I said, beavers build their homes on water. And they control the flow of the water. So you could be building a home with a Cancerian, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, some sort of stuff some sort of water energy, building a home for that water so it is contained and has a redirection, a flow. You are, in other words, you are affecting the flow of your future, of your life force, right? And this is it. This is the spell casting, weaving that generational web, building a home. Both of these animals build homes. They build homes for themselves. They're master home builders. And they make that security and certainty for their offspring. And here's the card that is saying it, be at home. This is the energy of that heart chakra. This is the compromise of that heart space. This is the disappointment. And I think that, look, do you see how the wombat is looking at the swan? Now you're in other words, you're finally seeing it. You're finally seeing what was really ripping you up inside. In other words, you're finally admitting it. Confidence has come back. You're owning everything about who you are even those places that might have been a little bit compromised or that you weren't, you were ashamed to admit to, you're done with the shame. You don't have any time for it. Your life is increasing exponentially, 56, 57. Look at you're weaving the web for the future and you're planting the seeds for the abundance to come. It's, listen, as soon as you crack that heart space open and really get real with yourself, own up to and love every, every part of yourself. But more than that, there seems to be this thing that you have not admitted to. There seems to be this emotional thing and you're working so hard and you're so excited about creating this emotional stability for everybody else. But remember your foundation has to be coming from the inside. So what is it that thing, that disappointment around that heart space, that hurt, that sorrow that really needs to be purged and released? Don't talk yourself out of it. Don't try to convince yourself you're over it. Let yourself feel it, admit to it, own it, and that's gonna cleanse you. And whoosh, you're gonna move forward. Like quick like a bunny. Now is a lucky time when everything is multiplying itself. You can see the bunny's offspring right there. Luck has come to you. It really is. It's just fortune has come to you. Faith, it's almost like it's come to you. So look at how beautiful the spread is. This is gorgeous spread. Leo, yourself, your sense of self, just looking over and being accepting and loving and really uh, looking at it and see, like owning it, like self-accepting. This is, this is beautiful. And I think it's all because of the lesson learned about purging this heart space and being true to who you are, even when you're not very proud of yourself, or maybe you're, you're embarrassed by something. I feel like that's what it is. It's, it's an embarrassment of sorts. And then you can own it and say, okay, this is what I'm really feeling. This is what's really happening. And I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to let it go. Take, let the unit, let the full moon have it and cleanse it for me. I think that's a beautiful place for you to be because look at all this wonderful, look at all this wonderful abundance. Now go over, I'm going over to Vimeo. I'm going to uh, pull a, a full tarot card spread on top of this to extend this reading also, 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 I really want to get to the heart of what this is because this doesn't worry me so much. This is the one thing that I really want to know and dig into. So Virgo, hopefully I will see you over there.